Hi folks, my name is Kerry Brown and this is my trusty old Skywatcher NEQ6 Pro uh, telescope mount. I'm going to be doing a belt modification to it a bit later, but I thought I would uh, introduce to some of my, my uh, the minor modifications that I've done to it already. Uh, first off, I've uh, replaced the old, the original latitude adjustment bolts with uh, better ones that I got off from eBay. So you have a uh, like a ratchet type of uh, handle in here, which is uh, a lot easier to use out in the dark um, than the original ones, which are not very user friendly. Um, but unfortunately, that means that this thing is a bit bigger than the original bolt so the dust cap for the uh, for the poloscope doesn't really fit together they can't really coexist not at least in the uh, latitude that I am in because uh, this bolt is gonna be colliding with the dust cap so I, I just took it off and replaced it with a, a rubber one which I also got off from eBay was maybe two or three pounds I got this um, so that fits, fits pretty neatly in there um, and then another modification I did is the power uh, connector because in mine quite often the original power cable just popped off so I replaced it with a with the one that you can actually screw in, I'm not sure. I'm gonna take better photos of it a bit later, but this basically, when I pop, pop that in there, there's a little nut that I can tighten that, that will not come off very easily at least. So with these modifications, this is already a lot better than the original one. Um, but as you probably know, the original motor drive system in here is, is driven by gears and that introduces some uh, backlash let me just demonstrate because it also makes a really annoying noise when you slew the mount let me just quickly go through the setup and here we go Right, Shenson. You hear the grinding noise when you accelerate and decelerate. The same when you go the other way. So that's the RA axis on my, which is a bit worse than the declination axis. De declination axis sounds like this. It's a bit better, but still you can hear that grinding noise. And also, I've noticed that uh, even if you balance the telescope with the counterweights as, as good as you can, so that it leans against the backlashes, uh, you still might get different kind of a tracking performance uh, in the beginning of the night compared to the to the end of your. Uh, photography session if you're doing astro imaging because the the weight distribution especially in my case because I have a Newtonian telescope and it is really hard to tell, uh, balance uh, so that it's always always um, ideal um, so I'm hoping that the belt modification I'm going to be doing to this, to this uh, mount is going to be at least get rid of the noises first of all and, and hopefully the backlashes as well which hopefully will also improve the, the tracking performance so this is the modification kit that I bought from uh, Rowan Astronomy or Rowan Engineering just google it and you will find uh, find it um, it comes with two sets of pulleys and belts one for the RA axis one for the deck axis and then you have these mounting plates uh, 
for RA and deck axes as well. Uh, they're a little bit different, so don't mix them up. Uh, and you get a pair of tweezers and some Allen keys and screws. And I went in and optionally bought the uh, bearing ring removal tool as well. Uh, I have absolutely, I've never done this before, so I'm, I'm kind of winging it. I have no idea how to use this yet. But we will find out soon enough. Um, since I was at it, I also bought an extra set of belts just in case. Now, if you snap one, at least I have one in, or two of them actually spares. So hopefully that will never happen. Um, that's the kit. So oh, oh yeah, I've got to show you. It also comes with. Uh, Quite a few pages of instructions, so there's a lot to be done, as you can see. It's not very, at least from the instructions that I can see, it's not a not an easy, straightforward thing to do. So be prepared to spend a little bit of time with this, and and uh, yeah, wish me good luck. I'm gonna start actually reading this.